um, 36 years ago, if you can work that out, 1980, I make it, wasn't it? 1980, 81, yeah. Yeah. Around that time, yeah. Yes. I moved here, um, funny enough, to work for, I guess it now it's just in Plymouth, to run um, the chairman's had a business of cash and carries, and I was running the biggest one he got in, in Plymouth, as I know John Hall and things like that. Um, and then, uh, for good 18 months after I joined him, he left the club, sold the club, and he sold this cash in Paris and went out to Portugal. That's when he, his friend, who was that Manchester City manager that managed Plymouth? Oh. With a hat and smoked a cigar, you know what I mean? Well, um, it, it, he, was, he was around at that time. So I was living in Clisson Mary, so I decided not to go up there every Saturday. I came here and uh, the club was not doing very well. They had uh, um, probably 1,200 people here and you could walk around the stadium, it was quiet. And uh, I saw it picking up, but it didn't really pick up until we, uh, till we almost went bust, did it? <laughs> you know, but it was a good time. I enjoyed every minute of it. It's like any team, if you if you support them, you you see some good, and you get to know players. I mean, there was one player I thought he was quite good, and uh, um, talking to some of the others, they said, "Well, he comes from where you came from, Welling Garden." Well, as I never heard of him, so I spoke to him, and it wasn't that. His wife came from Welling Garden, and his wife actually lived next door to me, and I knew her as a baby. <laughs> And I still knew the family. I knew her grandma, and I knew, you know, I knew the whole family. And when they did come down eventually, I had to tell them to get rid of him quick because before he told my wife all my secrets <laughs> from my youth days. But uh, that was, yeah, that was good fun. But no, I've always, I've always, when when well was over the other side before they built this, when this was still the cow shed, and we had um, the wives in under Alan Ball. I remember this. Um, we, as we were doing hospitality for people, because by that time, my wife, who worked 20 years for Nationwide, were the, had the league. So uh, we, we dished out the, uh, you know, we didn't have proper meals like we do now, but we dished, you know, all the chicken nuggets and all that sort of thing. And I saw the wives with the children of the players sitting in the next bar with a packet of crisps or something. And I used to take food in too. You know, and uh, Alan Ball's wife came up and she said, thanks very much. She said, I tried to get the club to pay, but I said, well, why this? while I can get away with it, I'll do it, I said. So that was one of the things, uh, and I, I got on with the hospitality, and um, when we come over here, I chose my seat, which was uh, along the top here, because that's where we kept the hospitality. Then when Nationwide went out of it, we kept our two tickets, and I've been there ever since until the beginning of the season. Uh, that's, always, uh, that's always a difficult one. Um, I got very friendly with Danny Bailey, because where I lived in Cliff St Mary, another one of the players, uh, what was his name? He went to Australia. Uh, dear. This is where my memory goes. Sean Devine, was it? No, it wasn't Devine, no, 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 John. Um, he was a striker. Anyway, Steve Neville. Steve Neville lived about three doors from me. And I used to speak to Steve and his wife. And because Danny come down and see him and uh, I'd be out in the garden and he'd say, oh, they're out again. I said, come on then, I'll give you a coffee. And, and we used to have some fun. And, um, and also some of the young lads come into town and I'd say to them, they're in the local shop. I'm gonna tell them you're eating pasties, you know. Oh, we're not playing today and all the rest of it. And they'd come down and have a coffee. So I had a, yeah, living there was quite, uh, quite interesting. Well, yes, I enjoyed watching. I enjoyed going down to the Cat and Fiddle. I was the, at the beginning of the season, I always went down to see how they were doing and who's new and who isn't, you know. And always got welcome. In fact, Steve Perriman, if he saw me down there and there wasn't a chair for me, he sent one of the boys over to get a chair. And he'd bring me a coffee out at half time. He was, uh, he's that sort of person. Edwards, obviously, um, he was a gentleman. He was a gentleman and, and a good player. Um, 
Troy, I like Troy Archibald Hendel. I was disappointed when he left, but he seemed to go down. He seemed to have injuries wherever he was playing. And I was rather surprised we took him back because he's taken half a season to get back in the team again. But hey, I'm not the manager. He knows the reports on him, what he can do, what he can't do, doesn't he? You know.